Hey guys, for today's video, I just wanted to update you guys on what I bought so far this summer for my wardrobe, how my low buy is doing, if I'm still sticking to it, and also talk about anything that I have on my wish list for my fall capsule wardrobe. It's gonna be a more casual kind of conversation type of video, so get yourself a cup of coffee or tea and let's get started. So previously, if you remember on my channel, when I did a wardrobe update, I kind of showed all the items that I bought so far this year and I stopped at 10. And so we're gonna count the additions that I bought so far. So the first thing that I bought since then was this t-shirt. And you guys have seen this already a lot on my channel. This is kind of a t-shirt that I bought to support Ukraine. It says, fill your pockets and there's a sunflower and sunflower seeds. And it was kind of a meme going on back then. I actually really do love this t-shirt still. It's like a really soft washed cotton and I really like this cream color. And I bought it for $30 and I think some of that was like a donation towards Ukraine. So all around I felt pretty good about this purchase. So next, kind of with the same theme, I bought this leather backpack and I've been wanting a backpack like this for a while. I'm sure you guys remember me talking about wanting to replace my old backpack with like a leather one, the more minimal style. And I'm really enjoying this one actually. It's kind of more smaller and it's pretty lightweight and I do like the minimal style of it. Um, I bought this from a Etsy shop, a Ukrainian Etsy shop. Again, I was trying to support Ukraine and it's been really good. I've been wearing it a lot kind of in place of a baby bag which i don't really need that much anymore now that my kids are getting older but i can still shove a couple things in here oh and i bought it for a hundred dollars but i kind of thought of that as my birthday present so also was pretty happy with that purchase next if you guys remember i had a rib tank top like this on my wish list for a while so i did finally grab this one it was from banana republic and i got it for 19 dollars and it's pretty basic, it's just 100% cotton. I think I've worn it already a couple times, you guys have seen it. Still kind of trying to figure out the bra situation, what's best to wear with this, and I think what I'm gonna do actually is buy these silicone covers called nippies. I have a pretty small chest, so I don't really need like a full bra, but um, don't wanna go braless, and I don't really wanna deal with like all the strapless cross crossover bra situation. So my next purchase I'm very excited about because I finally bought myself a dress for my more fancy occasion capsule. You guys remember me talking about needing to like update that and I've been kind of looking here and there and I started noticing on Pinterest that I was pinning kind of the same style of dresses over and over again. And then when I kind of went to investigate it, a lot of them are from Reformation. So when I was at the mall last time, I decided to stop by their shop. I tried on a couple dresses and I found one that I really liked. But of course their prices are pretty expensive, especially for me who likes to be more frugal. So I did end up um, finding the dress that I liked on Poshmark. And I still paid a lot for it because I think originally it was 220 or 280. I forgot, I'll write the original amount on here. But I ended up buying it for I think $180. And then I had some Poshmark credits all together. I paid like $80 of my own money. But I really love it actually. I already wore it out on a date once with my husband and got a lot of compliments. It feels like a really nice, like sleek, sophisticated, elegant dress for uh, going out and for maybe a wedding so I'm really happy to have this in my wardrobe. This next purchase was actually pretty recent. I just received this about a week ago and if you watched my decluttering video I talked about um, decluttering my alpaca crew from Quince because it was kind of getting pretty worn out and pilling a lot and so I decided just to replace it with the Everlane alpaca crew. It's literally almost identical. It looks very, very similar. I have another one like this in the light gray, and that one has held up really, really well over the two years that I've had it. So I grabbed this from Poshmark, of course, and I ended up paying $45 for it, which feels pretty good because originally they're around 100. So yeah, it looks in perfect condition, and I really actually like this charcoal color in the winter, especially. It looks really great. So. Really excited just to have this one. I'm not sure what that says about Quince as a brand. I do have a pair of joggers from them that I still really like that lasted through the year that I've had them. So it might just be this knit, but let me know in the comments if you bought anything from Quince before and kind of what your thoughts are on that brand. 
And my last edition, I'm very excited to talk about this because my mom and my sisters, they bought me a birthday present. I have been wanting to add like a wool coat for a few years now, but I always seem like not super urgent because for my casual lifestyle, I don't really need it that much, but they wanted to buy me something that was kind of more special. So I did pick out this wool coat from Aritzia and I think it's really gorgeous. It's kind of more light. It doesn't have like a lining, but um, whenever I put it on, it makes me warm immediately. And I really love just like the casual, straight, oversized look. And the color is like a pretty neutral, cool beige, which I appreciate. So this was a gift. I didn't have to spend any money on it. And this is kind of a coat I'm really excited to treasure over the years in my closet. And I'm really excited that they got it for me. Thank you guys. <laughs> Thanks. So I don't know if you were counting, but altogether I added six more items to my wardrobe. So that puts my total at 16 for the year and that feels really good still. I feel very like pleased with that, that I got through the summer season and I'm only at 16. So before we go on, I wanted to announce that I'm starting something new on my channel called Channel Memberships. And if you've been wanting to support me or support my channel, then this is going to be a great way for you to do that. So if you want to join, I'm just going to be offering a little bit of like extra perks and behind the scenes content for anybody that wants to support me. So to start, there's a couple of little fun things like loyalty badges or special emojis that let other people know that you are a supporter of the channel. But the one that I'm most excited about is that I'm going to be doing a once a month members only live. <laughs> And I did a live video before at the beginning of this year and it was super fun to do. So if you want to join the membership, I'll be doing one live video each month. And here you can ask me any kind of questions that you have, either like questions about my wardrobe or anything about my life, or also any questions that you have about style or your own wardrobe. And then the other perk is going to be a weekly photo or status update. And um, this is going to be basically like Instagram. Uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I don't have a public Instagram because I'm not on that platform that much. And lately, I haven't even been on there for the last couple of months, honestly, because it's been a little bit crazy over there. So yeah, if you want to keep up with my life or see any kind of behind the scenes updates, I'll post a couple times a week probably on the community tab and it'll be just for members only. So if you'd like access to these perks, you can join the membership for $2.99 a month. And the way to join is to either click the join button and that should be under a new video. And I'll also leave a link down below under this video that you can click if you want to check it out. I did just want to add that all my normal content is going to stay the same. I'm still going to try to upload once a week like I usually do and this will just be like a little bit of extra stuff for anybody that wants to support me. But for this fall winter season I do anticipate needing a couple things because as I kind of was going through my wardrobe I realized that there's a lot of things that I want to replace that either got worn out, lost, or just not my style anymore and I kind of touched on this a little bit in the declutter video but there's a handful of items that I want to buy in addition to anything that's on my wish list. So the first item I really need to replace urgently is my white t-shirt, which is this t-shirt actually, because I got pretty stained and I couldn't get the stain out. So uh, we were tie-dyeing shirts with my kids. So I thought, why not just tie-dye it? And so I did a blue and yellow for the Ukrainian flag. Um, and I've actually really enjoyed wearing it like this. It's still really cute, but I urgently need another white t-shirt to replace it because it kind of is a staple in my wardrobe. I feel like I can just wear so many different things with it and it always looks great. And I have already tried a couple of different white shirts and none of them are right and I had to keep returning them, which is really disappointing. But hopefully within this next month I can find one that I really like because yeah, I really miss that guy. Another item that I really want to replace is a different pair of black mules because I'm going to be decluttering my pointed mules and the ones that I want to buy are the woven black mules from Nisolo. I have tried to reach out to them to see if they wanted to collaborate with me on my channel so perhaps maybe they'll want to gift them to me. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Um, if they do, that's very exciting. But if not, then I'll try to buy them with my own money, of course, because I do like that brand regardless. And then I'm still kind of mourning my lost gray linen button down shirt from a year ago. And um, the white one that I got, it is really great. But for this fall, I really want to add like a 
wool or maybe a more flannel gray one maybe just to kind of have another third layer option to throw on so i'm going to be on the lookout for that and this is kind of a lot of items that i need to replace this year which is something that i've never had to do before i started rebuilding my wardrobe about five years ago and so far things have been holding on pretty well or lasting pretty well over the years so so it's kind of the first year that I'm kind of confronted with a lot of items either getting worn out, lost, or just slowly not my style. So yeah, this is an interesting thing to go through, but I think that's a totally normal, natural part of life. And of course it shouldn't happen every year. So this is kind of the year for me that everything is happening all at once. So because of that, I think originally my goal was to buy 20 items for the year, but I may allow myself to get 25 just with all the replacement items that I need to buy. But in terms of my fall wish list, I still really want to add a trench coat. And I did add that beige raincoat last spring and that has been really great actually to wear in the rain, but I do still want like a tan trench coat that's like pretty minimal and kind of long and sophisticated looking, I guess, so that I can like pair it with my more casual items. And I think that'll be a really great contrast. So still on the lookout for that. We'll see if I end up adding it this year. And then also I suddenly really want to get a sweatshirt that's like really cozy and soft that has an abstract print on it. I saw my sister have a sweater like this and it looks so cute and cozy and I really love to have like graphic t-shirts so I thought a graphic sweatshirt would be perfect and I've been looking at a couple on Etsy. I kind of want like a buttery cream soft sweatshirt with some kind of a graphic print. So overall I'm really happy with where my wardrobe is right now and I'll probably be building my fall capsule wardrobe soon. It's still pretty warm here in Washington. The morning and evenings are getting pretty cold but in the daytime it's like 80 degrees still so not ready for fall quite yet, but once I feel ready for it, I'm gonna be doing a fall capsule wardrobe video, so keep an eye out for that. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, but you've been watching for a while, then I'd love it if you subscribe and stick around. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.